welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing really well. In today's video, we're going to look at some perfume oils. I recently purchased a bunch of fragrances from Oil Perfumery. Um, I've bought from them before in the past and I really have enjoyed what I had purchased and so I wanted, I did another order and this was a few months ago. Um, I just haven't showcased them on my video yet. And I figured I'd just do this in a separate video. I know some people aren't into uh, perfume oils and that's fine, totally cool. Um, but there are, I know there are people that do enjoy oils. So I figured I would just make this separate video in case you are curious about any of these fragrances. Um, Cause I know I do try to watch, when I'm about to purchase something or I try to watch videos on what people like about them or if they didn't like them, just so I can get an idea if I might enjoy that. Um, yeah, so I'm just gonna get right into it. I have two, four, six, eight, like 11 here. So I'm just gonna run through them quick. And I've been wearing these so I can kind of give you an idea of how they perform or what I enjoyed or didn't enjoy. And that way maybe it can help you decide because there's so many on the website um, and it's just kind of hard to pick and choose. And that's why I have 11, <laughs> 11 here. Obviously I did a very poor job picking and choosing because I bought 11. Anyway, um, the first one I have here, and I what I do, just a little quick um, information about oils. What I tend to do sometimes is I either, I buy an oil that I either A, have the fragrance of, and I wanna like improve the performance of the fragrance that I have, or B, it, it's a fragrance that I want to try out, but I wasn't, I, you know, either I can't find a sample of, or I just wanted to try the an oil first to see if I liked, get an idea. I think they can give you an idea of what the scent will smell like. Some are a little bit more, I would say hit or miss. I'd say, and sometimes I like the oil better than the actual fragrance. So I'll get into that too. So hopefully that was helpful and not too much just talking. The first one I have here is by uh, Ramon Monegal, and that is Flamenco. Now, this one, and this is how they all come. I believe they're in 10 mLs. Yes, they're 10 mLs, and they're all, um, they all are roller balls. So they all have this like steel. Th these are really nice roller balls. I, I, I have a bunch of diff from different companies, and I find that these are really quite nice. They never leak. I never had any issues with leaking in transit, which is really nice. Um, but this one here in particular, I was interested in this brand because I wanted to try this fragrance in particular. And I really quite like this. This is a very fruity scent. Um, this one has notes of like raspberry and apple. And I, you do, the raspberry is quite strong in this one. And I really like that. It's a very like fruity, sweet, a uh, little bit of a woody scent. I think it dries down with a little bit of cedar. Um, and I believe there is rose in here too and other florals. Um, but what I, what I detect when I smell it and, and, and roll it on is a raspberry, like a little bit of a tart raspberry. So it's definitely fruity. I would consider this a fruity, floral, slightly woody scent and a little bit of spice. Now this one in general um, lasts very, very well on my skin. When I rolled it on, it lasted quite well. It projected quite well and I can, it was quite strong. It smelled like I sprayed a fragrance. So I would say this one is, pretty nice. I have, and I'll let you know if I've smelled the original of any of these so that I can compare. I have smelled the original of some of them, but not all. This is one I have not smelled the original of, and um, yeah, I like this one. Uh, I don't think I need the, the perfume, the actual perfume, because this one does the job for me. It's a nice, uh, fruity, floral, so sweet, spicy scent. Ooh, it's nice. I like this one. This is fun. This is kind of like a sultry, fun, fruity scent if you're looking for a fruity scent. So that is uh, Ramon Monegal Flamenco. And they all, all the labels look the same. And prices vary depending on what you purchase. And I, they always have code, coupon code. So I would just like kind of look around on the internet. I don't have one currently because I don't remember which one I used, but they always usually have like a 10% or if you sign up with their email. So just so you know, always try to use a code. The next one here is by Trish McAvoy and that is number nine, Blackberry and Vanilla Musk. I've been curious about this one um, in general. And I just didn't want to buy a bottle of it. I, I was having a hard time finding samples of this one, so I just went ahead and bought the Rollerball. Um, this one, I do like. I'm kind of glad I feel like I got this instead of like a full bottle of the fragrance, only because 
This one's a nice fruity, light fruity, uh, berry musky scent. So it's just kind of a clean, fruity. Um, I would just definitely say yes. The, it has a blackberry note, but it's just it's a very it's a very nice berry musk, vanilla berry musk scent. Um, I think there is. Uh, it says here there's blackberry, there's plum, mandarin. I mostly just really just get the blackberry, and there is some florals in here and yeah and some vanilla that's pretty much what i get from this one it's a nice nice scent but i find that these types of scents um i don't gravitate towards it's not that they're bad it's just i i'm this would be plenty for me i don't feel the need to um, purchase a bottle of this one or i feel like it's just a nice fruity berry scent with vanilla so that is trish mcavoy number nine blackberry and vanilla musk lasting power on this one is okay um i don't find this one also doesn't project very loud it's, it's more of a softer scent so it's a nice scent to kind of throw on out of the shower or um if you just want something light like if you're looking to go somewhere and you don't want to put on a perfume but you want to just smell nice it's just very light scent so that is the trish mcavoy number nine blackberry and vanilla musk Okay, this one here is, this one's a funny one because I bought this one because I I believe this is the one I sampled in store, like this, this fragrance. I thought this was one that I tested in store and I remember really enjoying it, but I didn't want to buy a bottle of it. So I figured, eh, perfume oil will be enough. Now I'm like not sure if this is the exact one I tried because there's so many in this range. But this is by Dior and Christian Dior, Miss Dior Le Parfum. Now, I, I think this is the one I had tried in, in store. Uh, this was like a, a few years ago. This one is a very, more of, I feel like a mature type of scent. It's a rose, it has Turkish rose, and I think Bulgarian rose, so it is just quite a rosy scent. Now, as it dries down though, it is a very strong, strong patchouli scent. And it's that type of patchouli, because I love patchouli, but it's that type of patchouli that, ooh, I don't know if I can do. I wore this one day, I tried this on, and this thing was so long lasting. I had to like try to scrub it off because it, as like, it, I didn't even put that much on, but as I wore it, it just kind of got stronger and stronger and stronger as it was like warming up. Sorry, that was my pup pup. <laughs> it was getting stronger and stronger as it was wearing on my skin and it almost like made me kind of nauseous because it just was just, it was like kind of like pulsating um, the smell of it. So I'm not quite sure if this is one that I will enjoy wearing too often or um, or maybe I'll give it a try as the weather kind of cools down because it's starting to get cooler here now because I wore this, but I think when I bought these, it was more of in the summertime, so it was very warm. And I'm thinking that that warm, that heat was just too much for this. I do like it, but I'm not sure if I ruined it for myself because that tends to happen if something makes me nauseous or sick or something. I have a hard time picking it up again or wanting to try it again, so it might be a while before I pick this one back up. But this one is a nice, if you like those type of rosy, patchouli, um, kind of just elegant, sophisticated scent. It, it is quite nice and is very long lasting, very long lasting. As far as if it smells like the original, I'm not sure because um, I'm not sure if this is the one that I originally sprayed on when I, what I thought it was. So I'm not sure, but it's long lasting and it smells like a Dior fragrance. It's long lasting. Um, but that patchouli, man, that, that one really was strong. So I'm not sure. I might have to pick that one up later. This one here is, I was really interested in this fragrance um, and it's expensive. So I decided I was going to get the oil. This is by Ex Nihilo and Fleur Narcotique. Narcotique. This one smells really nice. This one is a very nice, fresh, floral, musky floral. It has notes of lychee. I'm gonna read some of the notes here because I have it here. And I, the notes that I took are from the oil perfumery site. So I didn't take the notes from the um, original fragrance. But this has lychee, peach, bergamot, orange blossom, jasmine, and peony, oak moss, musk, white musk, and woods. Yeah, this one is a very nice um, floral, musky floral with some fruits. 
but it smells very clean but creamy, sophisticated but fun. This one's a, this one's a really nice one. I enjoy wearing this one. It lasts very well on my skin. It it's a little bit more of a softer scent. Um, the oil is, which I like, but it really it dries down really nice and and fresh and floral and sweet and creamy and clean. But it's a floral that's unlike any other floral that I've tried it. I can smell the the fruits in here as well, but it's not overly fruity. It just provides enough sweetness to the fragrance that it's a it's a really nice fun fragrance that I think you could probably wear this all year round. I don't find that it's too light or too heavy. It's like perfectly signature scent worthy, I think. So that is a really nice one. I enjoyed this one. I don't think I need a full bottle of this one, but I enjoy having the oil. So that is Fleur Narcotique Ex Nihilo. Excellent one to try. This one here, I actually have tested the original uh, fragrance of this one, and it's very close. It's pretty much pretty close. Like we're pretty close to the point where I don't think I need a full bottle only because now I have this and it's it's really good. This one is by Initio and then is Atomic Rose. And this one to me smells quite similar to Delina by Parfum de Marly, but if I had to be honest with you, I kind of enjoy this a little bit more because there's a little bit of a different, there's a little bit of a spice to this one. It has hedione, it has uh, pink pepper and bergamot, rose, Turkish rose, jasmine, vanilla, and amber. Yeah, if you know, it has this kind of this tartness that the Delina has, but I think with it, the um, pink pepper, it provides like a nice floral spice to it, which I quite enjoy. I quite enjoy that. Um, whereas Delina is very tart and sour. This one has a little bit of tartness, but it's it kind of takes the screechiness out of it. And it's a really nice rose vanilla type of scent as well. But it has a really good amount of, I feel like the spice to it. I enjoy the spice in this one. And this one is very, very, very similar to the original. I tried the original, which it's it's gorgeous. And it dries down basically the same. And I find that the lasting power, this actually lasted, even though Atomic Rose, the original, lasted very long on my skin, this one lasted just as long, uh, the oil did. so. It's a good option because I know that fragrance is very expensive. So that is Atomic Rose by Inicio. And I would highly suggest trying this one. This one is very similar to the original. I, this one here I have um, an oil because I find this type of fragrance, I have a lot of fragrances that smell similar to it. And I just feel like I didn't need a bottle of this one, but I do enjoy the scent. Um, but it is by Montal and that is Intense Cafe. Uh, this smells very similar to like uh, Mansara Roses Vini, which I truly enjoy, except Roses Vini doesn't have like that coffee accord to it, that coffee note. This one, even though the coffee note I don't find is overly um, powerful and in, in, in intense cafe, they smell very similar. So I don't think you needed both of them, but I do enjoy, I really, really enjoy this oil. And you can probably see, I have been wearing a lot of this one. Um, this one is a rose vanilla, coffee, uh, amber, I mean, yeah, a little bit of amber, but it has like a white musk to it. And th that's what I really enjoy. The dry down is a really nice white musk, rosy vanilla scent. Um, and I tend to wear this one, it's funny, cause I do wear this one to the gym a lot. And I, I just love the way it smells because it's not too strong. Sometimes fragrances are just too strong to wear at the gym, especially some of the fragrances I have. So I do like to wear the oils. And this one just smells so nice, long lasting, smells basically the same as the original, I have to say. And I really enjoy the dry down of this one. It smells beautiful in the dry down. That white musk really kind of comes out for me with on my skin, along with like the rose and the vanilla. And it's very creamy, it's very sweet. Um, yeah, and it's very enjoyable. Very similar to the original. And I do smell a little bit of that coffee note in this one that I don't get in the Roses Vini, which I like, but I don't need a bottle of both. So I ended up getting the oil, which I love. So that is Intense Cafe by Montel. This one here I actually got because um, 
I didn't want to buy a sample, believe it or not, of the original or a bottle because it's, it's supposed to smell similar to other things I have tried or have had in my collection. So I just wanted to get an oil form of it. I'm sorry, the lighting's going in and out because it's kind of cloudy today. But this one here is by Zerzhov. Here we go again. <laughs> if you guys have seen my last video with a Zerzhov, Zerzhov, how I pronounce it. <laughs> okay, you know what I mean, okay? I'm not gonna go on and on. I'm not gonna put any bloopers in this one. Maybe I will, if there is any. But this is by Zerzhov, and this is Naxos 1861. I really, really, I really like this one, but I'm glad, like, I don't need a bottle of it. I do find this one to be, um, you, it's unisex. I Anyone can wear it, but I find that this one smells similar to, I ha, used to have Moogler's, Terry Moogler's Pure Haban, and it smells very similar to that to me. Um, I do like this one probably a little bit better. It's smoother. Um, Pure, Pure Haban has a, uh, it is quite smooth too, but there is a little bit of a sharpness in that one that I didn't enjoy. This one smells like a honeyed tobacco scent. I would That's the best way I could describe this one. It has, it has notes of lavender, and I do get that in here. Um, lemon, honey, cinnamon. I don't get too much cinnamon, tobacco, tonka, and vanilla. What I get from this mostly is a lavender, honeyed tobacco, vanilla scent, um, which, and a little bit, it's a little bit dry. It does have a little spice in, it, spice in it, I think, from the cinnamon, but I don't find this like to be a cinnamon bomb or anything. This is really, I think it'll be really nice for the fall time because it's got like that little bit of a sweetness from the honey. Um, I enjoy this one. I, To be quite honest, I haven't picked this one up as much only because it reminded me of that Pure Havan, and I, I did like that one, but it kind of was a little bit too sharp on my skin, and I, I would probably in general prefer this more on a man but I don't think my husband would wear it but I do like this one this one's a nice one if you were interested I haven't tried the original of Naxo so I'm not sure but as far as it being a nice honeyed tobacco scent this is this is nice really really nice um lasting power I would say is pretty good and it's a little bit it's not as intense so it sits a little bit closer on my skin which is fine in this little haul here, there's a, there is one that I really do not like, and I have not smelled the original, and now it's, it's not, now I'm thinking like I don't want to smell the original, but I'm, I'm, maybe the oil just doesn't smell like the original, I'm hoping, because it's a very popular fragrance, and this is by Frederick Mall Musk Ravageur. This, I hate to literally say what this smells like, because it'll get offensive. There is something in here that I can't even stomach. I can't stomach this one. This one says it has lavender, bergamot, clove, cinnamon, guyac wood, cedar, sandalwood, vanilla, tonka, and musk. I can see the potential of this drying down to a really nice, kind of like powdery, vanilla, musk, woody scent. Yeah, there's something in this one that just doesn't jive with me. It's like, it's a little too animalic for my liking. Um, and animalic, I mean like, like when I say, I don't want to say, but you know, it's it stinks. <laughs> so this is a no for me. I I wore it once and I had to like completely scrub it off because I really just did not like it that much. That's how bad I really didn't like it. So that is, uh, and I don't know how it compares to the original because I smelled this and I was like, oh, no, 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 not for me. So that is Musk Ravageur Frederick Mall. I might have to sell this one because this one I barely even, I like, I can't even, like, I was like, oh, I'm going to let it sit for a while because I've had these for a few months and no, it still smells like something I do not want to wear on my skin. And that was long lasting. Of course it was because... Okay, another one by Zerjoff is Overture Overture. Now, I wanted to try this one because I've heard a lot of um, people reviewing this or trying this one out, and I just wanted to try it out. I like this one. This one is a little bit of a spicy, fruity, it has fig leaf in it, so it has like a little bit of a green, greenness to this one. Sandalwood, cashmere woods, ambergris, vanilla, incense. This one is a little bit more of a spicy, 
slightly fruity. I wouldn't say fruity like that flamenco, but it's more of a fruity like from the fig. It's kind of a creamier, creamier type of scent. Um, a little bit of greener, it has spice, it has the incense. I think there's cinnamon in here. Um, yeah, and it dries down to this kind of like creamy, sandalwood, spicy, vanilla um, scent. I like this one. Um, a couple times that it, this one is really strong, very long lasting. I haven't tried the original, so I don't know how it compares, but this one's uh, sometimes, like the, the one other time that I wore it, because I've worn it quite a few times, um, a couple times it kind of made me nauseous, and I think it's just, because it is quite strong, so I just have to be careful on how much I apply with this one, but I do like the scent. So I, this is one that I will kind of just apply lighter so that way um, I can enjoy wearing it. Cause some of these, some of these oils are super, super strong. So you need just a tiny, tiny bit on your like wrist and you just kind of dab them and they really project. So you kind of need to just see which ones are, the, this one's very strong though. So that is Ouverture by Zerjoff. <laughs> We're just doing a little bit of an intermission because uh, the trash truck is here and the dog is barking at the trash man. And it's not even my trash guy. What the, what the heck is he doing out here? I don't really care. Just want the dog to bark. Shoo shoo. I forgot to put the recycling out. Lord only knows. Okay, the next one here is by, um, this one's a kind of a funny one because I liked the oil so much I ended up buying a full bottle of the perfume and then when I got the perfume they didn't smell like how I want. I actually like the oil Kind of, I like the oil better than the perfume. The one I'm talking about here is by Mancera, and that is Rose's Greedy. Now this one here is, um, when I bought it, I was, because I wanted to test out the oil first before I basically was interested, I was interested in the perfume, so I was like, I'm just gonna test out the oil first. This one here, I like the oil so much better than the actual <laughs> than the actual fragrance. This one here has notes of mandarin, peach, coconut, black currant, rose, jasmine, f aquatic flowers, amber, vanilla, white musk, and benzoin. Now, this to me, the oil smells very creamy, vanilla. Has that white musk that you know Mansara does. It has. I actually can quite, I can smell the coconut quite a bit in the oil. Um, I can smell the florals, but they're not sharp. They're more more rounded and they're creamier flowers. They smell creamier to me. And the actual perfume smells very just, more, very much so like a floral, uh, a floral perfume with some vanilla, but it's a little bit more floral for me, which it smells nice, but I prefer this one because I, it's creamier, it smells like coconut, it smells like vanilla, whereas the perfume smells a little bit more floral. So yeah, that was kind of one of the situations where I actually, I was a little bit more disappointed in the actual perfume because I liked this, I liked this so much that the perfume didn't match up and then I was kind of disappointed because I was like, oh, this one smells better. So yeah, but I still enjoy this one. I do like, I actually layer the two. I layer the oil with the perfume and it actually gives me the effect that I enjoy. So that is Roses Greedy by Mansara. And this one here is quite long lasting. It long, it's long lasting and it projects really nicely. So yeah, this was, uh, I really like this one a lot. Okay, now the last one here that I have here is um, by Montal and that is Sensual Instinct. Now this one here, when I first got it, I wasn't sure if I enjoyed it. I was like, ooh, I, I don't know. Like I, I wasn't feeling it too much. I, I really didn't, wasn't sure. I, when I, sm I smelled it basically straight out of the, um, the, bottle, the bottle here. And this one says it has roasted coffee beans, praline, rose, oak moss, amber, and cedar. I don't, I get a very, I get the rose, I get this, kind of like I can smell the amber and cedar. When I first smelled this, it smelled more masculine on to me through the bottle. But then when I put it on, I actually enjoyed it a lot more. It warmed up really nicely. So sometimes you have to really just put these on the skin to try them out, especially oils, because they develop um, a little bit differently on the skin than just smelling out of a bottle. So this one I actually enjoy quite a bit after I put it on my skin. So the first impression when I first smelled it, I didn't like it. And then as I wore it, I really, really, really started to enjoy it. And this is another one that I've worn 
quite a bit of. Um, and I took it on a trip with me and I really, really liked it. It's just, it's quite a sweet uh, fragrance, but it has this like, it has like this tang to it. I don't know how to describe it, but it's like a little bit of a tanginess or an effervescent note to it that makes it kind of, it kind, maybe it's the amber, but it gives it like this, kind of like this lightness or airiness to this fragrance, which I really, really like. I'm not sure how the original smells. I haven't had that to compare, but I really like the oil. It's quite nice and long lasting. So yeah, guys, these are the, some of the oils that I recently picked up. I have like I, I have a video showing some of the other ones. I can link it up here as well so you can see some of the other ones I purchased in the past. And so not bad out of all the ones I have. I only have one that I really just did not like, so that's not too bad. Uh, yeah, so let me know if you guys are into oils or if you guys have tried any of the oil perfumery or if you have any other brands that you enjoy um, buying from because I, I just love oils. I love mixing them. I love wearing them on their own. I love mixing them with my fragrances. It's just like a fun way to kind of mix up your fragrances or change the way something might smell. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope it was helpful for you and I will talk to you later. Bye guys.